Beautiful fish. Wow. Have you ever seen a creepier frog? That's all one tank of neon tetras. Oh, almost slipped and died there, folks. Here's the fish farm dog. Hi, buddy. Wow. And a big spider that maybe eats a fish every once in a while. Oh, man. Almost slipped and died again. I mean, I'd pretty much take every one of these guys home because they're all adorable and awesome. Doing fat fisheries. Hey everyone, Randy from Aquarium Co-op here. And we are in the south part of the Guangdong province in China. And we're gonna go on a tropical fish farm tour and goldfish farm tour. So very excited. Looks like most of the stuff is gonna be indoors. First time here, so we'll see what happens. The bosses have beautiful arowana decorations. Yeah, that's that's my hand for scale. This thing's big. And this one carved out of wood. Money for scales. Beautiful. So we got some empty tanks here, but this is quite a long building, very low roof. Oh, we already have some stuff. Oh, Praycox rainbows. A lot of them in there. That is a lot of neon rainbow fish. If I was a better aquarist, I would know what these are. Black line tetras? Am I making up fish? Possibly. So some very resourceful uh, use of materials here for some spawning mops. Reusing styrofoam. And looks like shredded plastic bags. So if you don't have yarn and cork, use styrofoam and shredded plastic bag for your spawning mops. So my guess would be these buildings are, they have to be over a hundred years old, but the electricity system, I mean, that looks a couple years old. Yeah, so it's very much tropical down here in the south uh, part of China. It's got like a Peru, Hawaii kind of vibe to it. And clearly nature will take back what man has built if uh, you don't keep up on it here. Oh, we've got a lot of concrete ponds, a lot of empty concrete ponds. So this must have been quite the operation. So maybe this is a, a slow time for them, or these are just mothballed. Blower on the outside of the building. Duckless system right there. Awesome flower. Ni hao! Hello! Great hospitality, water, tea. We've got the fan out for me, so this is very nice. And right next to the table, big old fat albino <laughs> frogs. Wow. Look at these guys. Have you ever seen a creepier frog? Wow, so many of these guys. Chickens. All right, so we have some indoor ponds. Those look like a bunch of neon tetras. Thousands of them. Yeah, a lot of neon tetras. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. I'm guessing every one of these is going to be full of neon tetras. There's so many. I mean, I, I feel like it's pretty safe to say that there's about a million or more neon tetras in here alone. Oh, rainbow fish. Rainbow fish. Rainbow fish. So I'm guessing those ponds are grow outs and then they move into the glass aquariums. It's a bummer that it's so dark in here. Oh, these are white clouds. So Kubi, these are Chinese fish, white cloud minnow. This is from, from here, white cloud. <laughs> and a big spider that maybe eats a fish every once in a while. Look at all those fry. I think these are candy cane tetras. And there's a lot of them in there. That is... That's all one tank of neon tetras. So this is a, an aquarium they made into four sections at the end. And more fish. More neon tetras. This looks like they're uh, 
gravel vac system so they don't suck out fish. I mean, it's cool because the owners are definitely very excited about showing off their fish, and they certainly have. Wow. I mean, it's kind of a neat surprise, the water is so, so, so much tannin, but I mean, it's just chock full. Just an air stone, no other filtration. It is a sauna in here. All right, so we're going to check out <laughs> some goldfish. So this thing, when fully ramped up, can produce a lot of fish. I mean, flip-flops might not have been the best choice for today. If anybody needs some little two gallons. All right, I'm probably going to get stung with something. Yep, the snakes are probably in here. Okay, so these ponds are in use for goldfish. And there's a... There's a lot of them. I like the water runoff elevated platform. There we go. That is a beautiful goldfish. <laughs> Snails. Snail? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a mystery snail. <laughs> yep. Mystery snail just hanging out. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Wow. This thing is just covered. I'm guessing water hyacinth. We, can, can we see? I think it. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall in, Kubi. <laughs> oh, nice. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. How many? How many goldfish? Less than a hundred. Yeah, you can see their shapes. Definitely green water. Oh, you got it. Got another one. Oh, beautiful black. See his win. Oh, wow, his win are like just little boba bubbles. Beautiful fish. <laughs> All right, let's see if I. Let's see if I have skill. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, oh nice. Wow, he's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Got the guard dog. Oh. Solar panels. Here we go. I thought I was just in a shady a shady canopy, but it's actually a solar panel roof. And hence all that power handling equipment. I like the reusing of their aquariums. They're just repurposing them for some maybe mint, basil, got aloe growing. That's pretty cool. I can appreciate the reusing of uh, derelict aquariums. Oh, almost slipped and died there, folks. Oh, smokes. Oh, man. Almost slipped and died again. Gotta pay attention when I walk through the mud. And flip flops. I mean, this all looks like it must have been a zoo attraction at one point. This looks like where you'd have some penguins or something. I mean, there's definitely fish in there still, but yeah, this has seen better days. Here's the fish farm dog. Hi, buddy. Oh, lychee trees. I've been crushing these while I'm here in China. This one is full of those albino frogs. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of frog action in there. Glowfish? Glow, glow longfin danios? Wow. Um. 
Got some more outside ponds. See what we can find. Oh, little goldfish. Little guys. Wow, schools of goldfish. Newer building, and here's where they are growing out goldfish. I mean, I'd pretty much take every one of these guys home because they're all adorable and awesome. Got some celestial celestial eyes on that one. Look at that shimmer. There's a top down view. We gotta get them on the sponge filter upgrade program. Get some coop aquarium co-op sponge filters in here. And then that's how you get around. You get around on that pink bike right there with the training wheels. I'm gonna just wander and see if they yell at me. So here's their catching net and looks like they've already got a guy in there. Hey, I did not do this guy, I'm, but I'm gonna leave him here though. I'm guessing he jumped in there. PVC zip ties and some coarse net material. So here's an empty one if you wanted to see how maybe yeah. three feet deep. And then they have a bowl here to the drain, so all the water drains out to that spot. And then drains into this canal way. I love these canal ways. I love canal ways on the fish farms. I feel like they're always full of they're always full of escapees and they're just awesome. Beautiful. And even though they're goldfish, they still have a schooling behavior. Thanks for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed it. We picked another one that we thought you might like. You can click on it right here.